I'm Dr. Nguyen Van Ke, who invented the water-powered system generator. Nowadays, in the trend towards clean energy technology, we are finding non-polluting energy sources, such as solar energy, wind energy, or even thermal energy. We have used the reaction of water with a chemical to yield hydrogen, and hydrogen goes through a fuel cell to create DC electricity. The electricity goes through an AC to DC inverter to become usable AC electricity. Since 2005, we have directly used water to generate electricity, but the capacity was very, very low, about one milliwatt. Until 2010, we reached one watt, and in 2012, the capacity was 2,000 watts. This great breakthrough was achieved due to many factors. Firstly, the material that generates hydrogen from water was invented by nanomaterial creating reactions. Because the material is actually a nanomaterial system. When we made nanomaterials, such as carbon nanotube, we let the system operate for a few weeks to a few months. We then accidentally found it heating up and gas coming out when water was put into it. Currently, we are continuously deploying and studying the mechanisms creating hydrogen from the nanomaterial because it is very effective and very powerful. Secondly, fuel cell is another breakthrough. As we know about fuel cells, hydrogen, after passing a proton exchange membrane, is split into protons and electrons. The electrons flow through an external circuit and produce electric current. There are many fuel cell products in the world, however, the capacity is not high. For example, an American told me when they made 100 fuel cells, they only got 40%. Japanese got 20%. This means only 40 cells work out of 100. And as for the Japanese, only 20 cells work. Tôi nghĩ nó có rất nhiều vấn đề mà khoa học chưa chứng minh nổi. Ở đây tôi có một người bạn đồng hành. Người bạn ấy. In my opinion, there are many issues that science has not yet proven. I have a partner here. He has a secret to improve the capacity of fuel cells. It can nearly reach 98%. This is the biggest breakthrough of the world. Therefore, when we announced our achievements, there were many people who did not understand the importance of fuel cells in our innovation. They only know in theory that fuel cells are involved, but do not know in practice how we make fuel cells, how to improve the capacity, and how nanomaterials can yield hydrogen. Many assumptions were made in this way or in another way, but to keep technological secrets, we cannot reveal all the information. Some of it remains in mystery. All the information. Some of it remains in mystery. However, our final result is high capacity. We got 2,000 watts, we are making 3 kVA, and then 10,000 watts, and the similar as the results we have achieved. And now we will see a demo of the fuel cell. At first we have three bottles. This one is a reaction bottle. These are two filter bottles. The reaction bottle contains water and hydrogen creating material. The hydrogen passes the first bottle to remove water. However, it is necessary to let the hydrogen go through the second filter bottle so that much water is removed and we have relatively dry hydrogen. Why do we need dry hydrogen? Because when we have wet hydrogen com coming into the fuel cell, it may damage the cell system. If we can control the amount of water and hydrogen, this means we can create clean hydrogen in the system, theoretically. The fuel cell can work continuously for at least five years. Let's watch the demo. Bây giờ chúng ta hãy thử xem cái, uh, cái demo này.
Firstly, we take tap water. We can use any source of water, such as tap water, river water, sewage, salt water, sea water, or even a water-containing area. We pour water into the reaction bottle, and here is the material to create the chemical reaction. This system is very fast. We only need to put water and the chemical in. It will yield hydrogen. Hydrogen then goes through this filter bottle and the fuel cell to produce DC electricity and then AC electricity to be used in this system. This water-powered system can generate energy itself without using any other sources of energy. This water-powered system can generate energy itself without using any other sources of energy. Secondly, it generates electricity at normal temperature, different from fuel cells used in electric cars, which need to be heated up to 700 to 1,000 degrees before they can generate electricity. This generator only uses water at normal temperature. Thirdly, there are further applications. We can use this system for outdoor activities or indoor usage without worrying about toxic gases and noise. Recently, some delegations have visited our facility and intended to use this system to provide power for lithium batteries in electric cars. Because the lifespan of lithium batteries in electric cars is relatively short, it takes 10 hours of charging time. We have been working on, beside the study of its application in household usage, Fossil fuels are expected to be exhausted by 2050. Therefore, we are preparing now. We will be having a very good power generating system in the future. We are improving it by applying completely automated systems, and there have been some American enterprises that came to us, for example, to see if we still want to produce water-powered systems in the U.S. and Vietnam. There are also some Japanese corporations that want to use this system in Japan due to the earthquakes in Japan, and people cannot use gas generators because of its noise and bad smell. This system is noiseless and does not create water. Water is the input and also the output. The application of this generator is very promising for the future. We are scientists studying chemistry and materials. Then we have to cooperate with automated system engineers to make a completely automated system. This provides customers with more convenience and stability. The reaction occurs very fast. We cannot reveal the chemical at the moment, but it is not the top concern. Secondly, this system is very simple. We find it very light and it does not need many components except for the automated system we have to provide for the durability and stability of the system. We are making a power generating tube that can supply power continuously for 10 hours. This can provide enough power because it is contained in a capacitor and we get electricity from the capacitor for usage. Currently, in Vietnam, capacitors and batteries are very heavy and toxic. Therefore, we are making supercapacitors using nanotechnology, for example, to make supercapacitors. 
The supercapacitor can have a capacity of 900F over 1 gram. Very light and portable. Over 100 grams, we can scroll it. This is a scientific and technological revolution to replace the old capacitors and sockets we've had so far. This generator has another use. Water is the input and also the output, which is clean water. Therefore, the water can be any kind of unclean water, and the output is still potable. Then, this generator can be used to purify water in remote areas where there is no clean water. Currently, there are a few investors ordering such as Eden Group in Fukuok. They need this generator to provide power for air conditioners. Because Fukuok is very hot, they need many air conditioners in the hotel. Then corporations in Kandao also need this generator. Other domestic and international corporations also want to produce, manufacture, and cooperate to get these breakthrough products in the world. If this water power generator works, it will benefit people. We can use water instead of fossil fuels to produce electricity. That is the biggest benefit. The second benefit is its further promising applications.